can't believe you two took that raving lunatic seriously. What do you think this is? <laughs> Hey everyone, I hope you're having a really great day today. I've come across some information that is really interesting and I definitely wanted to share it with everyone because this would be considered strange science. I'm going to read just a little excerpt from an article to set up this video and discussion. Scientists take step closer to eternal life as they preserve and revive brain. For the first time, scientists have successfully managed to cryogenically freeze a brain and then revive it. In a step towards eternal life, researchers from 21st century medicine managed to freeze the brain of a rabbit using a technique known as aldehyde stabilized cryopreservation, also known as ASC. The team led by recent Massachusetts Institute of Technology graduate Robert McIntyre wrote in a press release, and I quote, Using a combination of ultra-fast chemical fixation and cryogenic storage, it is the first demonstration that near-perfect, long-term structural preservation of an intact mammalian brain is achievable. End quote. Now, the article goes on to say that they achieve this by filling the vascular system of the brain with chemicals that are designed to stop the decaying process, and then they froze it to negative 135 degrees Celsius. It also says that when the brain was warm, the scientists found that the majority of its cell membranes, synapses, structures, and other things were still intact and ready to function. Now, what the researchers want to do is follow up with this with the same process on a larger mammal, in particular a pig. And that's significant because pigs are genetically very, very close to humans. And so from there... The process is expected to be successful and they don't expect to incur any hiccups with it. And they want to segue into human use after that by what they claim is just using it on terminally ill patients. And so it's very interesting that they use the word eternal life. That is a key word. I've learned in looking into transhumanism that there are particular keywords to look for in the titles and within the articles. When you see words like immortality, everlasting life, eternal life. These are signs that this transhumanist agenda is going to be pushed. Now, transhumanism primarily attaches itself to three different approaches. And these would be the use of drugs or chemicals, the use of genetic manipulation, or the use of technology, be it computers, robotics, and things of that nature. Now, the first one, drugs is the idea of using chemicals to manipulate our bodies to achieve desired results. And there's things such as uh, trying to end all sickness, which I've read of in many articles talking about the end of disease, the end of sickness in general, uh, which is eerily reminiscent of the description of the kingdom of God, which there will be no more crying, no more sickness, no more death. I've even seen articles that scientists have said that death itself is a disease to be cured. And so that is the first one. Now, when you look into stuff like genetic manipulation, you know, this CRISPR research that's been done, we're mapping out our genome. What we are discussing doing and have already done, actually, is to manipulate people at a genetic level to achieve desired results and even go into manipulating children from the womb at birth will have certain traits, uh, characteristics such as eye color, hair color, height, intelligence, the type of intelligence, certain athletic traits that you want your child to have or physical traits. Uh, there was even talk about breeding certain types of athletes. I read an article one time that was saying that we could have like a super Phelps one day, someone who is just bred from every aspect of his physiology to be a perfect swimmer. And there's even been discussion in these Olympics lately of certain countries. I know China in particular, they were saying that uh, they possibly already have been manipulating their athletes and they were going to look into that gene doping and things of that nature, designer babies. So that is the second aspect using genetics and genetic manipulation. Now, it's my personal belief that 
the one they really want to focus on so far as achieving this supposed immortality is the technical side using computers and robotics. Now, it's interesting that in this article, they were talking about eternal life and using almost this biblical language and immortality and living forever. And they still haven't solved the problem of having a biological brain. But the next step after that is to try to achieve immortality by moving the brain into a robotic body. That is the next step that is coming very quickly as our robotics and cybernetics and increase. We are definitely moving towards that. And that's just the next step of progression. And what they want to do with that is to eliminate the entire possibility of there being any disease in our bodies and to be more durable. And if you have a robot body, then it can take a lot of damage. So the brain is in direct contact with a robot. It's being housed, kind of visualize almost a RoboCop type of thing going on. And then I believe the next step after that is if you look into research that they're studying the brain and trying to work on artificial intelligence and things of that nature. We have computers now that are quantum computers. And so the processing power is almost to the point that we can even think about this stuff as being possible to be able to code the consciousness of a brain into a computer program. And so that's what they really want to do. They want to make a digital model of our brains containing our experiences and what they think will be our consciousness. Now, it's up for debate if that's even possible to transfer your consciousness, but I'm just sharing what their goal is. And see, what happens from that point is that we have no more biological parts. And I've even read stuff that goes even farther into saying that we can exist and our consciousness and our memories and everything eternally in a cyberspace. And if we ever want to manifest that, we can manifest as holograms and things of that nature out into the real world. And so the end goal would just be pure immortality using computers. So this stuff is very real. This is the stuff that's going on, being planned and being worked on as we speak. The only scary part about this is that when people are blind to spiritual things, they don't realize things like the enemy in the garden telling us that we won't die, that we will live forever and just be as gods. This is trying to achieve every single thing that scripture has already promised us. If we just have simple faith and thankfulness to God that he sent Jesus Christ to take on our burdens for us so that we can live forever without sickness, without crying, without dying. These are the things that is just so amazing and shocking to me that we are really, truly trying to make good on the enemy's promises. We're trying to achieve everything that has already been achieved for us. I love science. I like looking into it. But every now and then you do come across these articles and these breaking news and research that just makes you shake your head and say, man, what are we doing? Stay aware of what's going on so that we will not be destroyed for lack of knowledge. Talk to you guys next time. Be sure to check out my channel and subscribe. I've made a lot of videos on a wide range of topics and some of them you may enjoy. See you in the next video and have a blessed day.